Alright, so we got a bunch of kung fu, sex, women, and uh, Russell Crowe. Let's get into it. So the man with the iron fist is a very simple story. One dude portrays this other guy and kills him. Then Johnny Tran from Fast and the Furious, the one um, who plays his son, comes and gets revenge for killing his father. And yeah, that's basically the simple plot of this movie. This movie is directed by Eli Roth or created by Eli Roth and RZA the dude from Californication, the big tall black dude from Californication for those of y'all who watch the show y'all know what I'm talking about but RZA directed the movie so it's it's their project um this movie worried me <laughs> when I before I saw it but I actually kind of enjoyed it not to the much of a level of a recommendation but I enjoyed it enough for a rent um, Okay, so let's get into the action. The action is awesome. Okay, all the act, the the violence in this movie is great. The only little nitpick I have with it is some of the CGI blood. Blood splatters in this motherfucker, and you know half of it can't be practical. It look, most of it looks like CGI, most part, to the most part. But I'm willing to let that go since you know what you're getting into, since you've seen the trailers to this film, and yeah you kinda know everything about this movie so you can't really complain about nothing it's just yeah made by Universal yeah cause they use practical blood most almost half of the time but the other half y'all yeah, use CGI yeah Lucy Liu and Russell Crowe kicks tall ass in this film they are the main two focal points of this movie their acting is great everybody else is acting not so much Dave Bautista is in this movie and he plays a guy whose skin turns into completely gold but not because he wants to it's like a like a safety mechanism so if you try and do anything to him stick up from behind and stab him his body's gonna turn to gold automatically it's just like at will it's not nothing to do with him he can control it himself as well but I mean when he wants to but most of the time it's just a safety mechanism to protect him I thought that was kinda badass though and yes Batista does says words in here and more likely he could have just stayed quiet so hopefully in Guardians of the Galaxy they won't give him much to say um, cause yeah he's not an actor he's a wrestler so he can't really do he's not like The Rock if you will The Rock can have the Rock has charisma and all that stuff Dave Batista does not he's just one dimensional if you can put it thoroughly um, yeah and Jamie Chun's in here and she's looking good Okay, she plays RZA's whore, or wife, or whatever she is. And Lucy Liu runs the whore house, full of Asian whores and everything. I ain't complaining, there's a bunch of nice, good-looking Asian women in this bitch, okay? Put me in a room with all those fucking women. Shh. See what happens to them when I'm done with them motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, give me Lucy Liu herself. I'll let her kick my ass any time of the week. Just to get that pussy. Just to get some of that. Yeah. Don't lie, y'all would too. Y'all know that shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to give the man with the iron fist. I'm gonna have to give it a a, a D. Um, I say rent it or wait for it to come on cable. It's probably gonna be on cable no time soon this year. I got it from uh, um, another YouTuber. I forgot who sent me the digital cop. I mean the ultraviolet. I had it for like two or three months now, but I just now watched it today because I finally had some time to look at stuff. Now I'm doing a lot of reviews this week so yeah later on this week I, I should have my review of Firefly up I'm about to go on this too tonight I just finished this one last night I really love Firefly um, and I should have Serenity up maybe next week maybe I'm doing a lot right now so I'm not gonna get say what else I'm gonna be doing right now until, it's, until everything is already falling into place but I should have the rest of the Fast and the Furious movies up this week as well I'm going to start with Fast and Too Fast Too Furious probably tonight or tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, later.